Our last time we began to look at creating margin in your marriage. Creating margin reduces stress, it reduces conflict, it puts a positive spin on your relationship. But remember this, creating margin in your marriage is not a one-time event. It is a lifestyle. It's creating margin today and tomorrow and the day after tomorrow and on and on. It's breaking negative cycles and patterns. It's building an awesome marriage that's filled with lots of grace for each other. The ideal way to create margin in your marriage is for you and your spouse to commit to do this. Sit down together and talk about the destructive patterns that you have seen in your marriage. Talk about what you can do to change those. What part will each of you play? Be specific. Invite God to help you and then begin. For most of us, this will be a process. You may be changing patterns that have dominated your marriage for a long time, but don't give up. Creating margin will change your marriage. So think, what are some of the destructive patterns you see in your marriage? What can you do to begin to change these? And are you ready to make that commitment and begin today? The